Hello, welcome to Prejim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 50 of SQL Server. In this session, we'll learn about updatable common table expressions. Before continuing with the session, I strongly recommend to watch part 49 of this video series where we have discussed the basics of common table expressions. We know that a common table expression is a temporary result set. It can be considered as a derived table. Now, is it possible to update a CT? The answer is yes and no. Under certain circumstances, you can update a CTE, but under certain other circumstances, you cannot do that. We will explore the you know scenarios where we can update a CTE and also where we cannot. Let's look at an example. We have this TBL employee table which has got ID name, gender and department ID columns. Now let's say we want to create a CTE on this table which returns just the ID, name and gender that you can see on the right hand side here. So obviously we know that to create a CTE we use the with keyword and then we, give it, we are giving it a meaningful name, employee's name, gender because this CTE returns name and gender. So employee's name and gender as and then the CTE query itself. So select what are the columns we require ID name gender. So ID name gender from TBL employee. So this is a simple select query which returns ID name gender from TBL employee table and you are giving that temporary result set a name employees name gender. That's about it. So when you created the CTE all you're doing here is select star from that CTE which would return ID name gender from TBL employee as you can see on the right hand side. Now is it possible to update this CTE? Absolutely. Let's look at that. So here what you're doing I mean it's the same CTE you know this CTE is pretty much similar to this one except that here you're selecting from that CTE but here you're updating the CTE so you're saying with employee name gender as select ID name gender from TBL employee now instead of saying select star from employee name gender you're actually updating the CTE so when you update the CTE does this actually update the underlying table in this case TBL employee. So here you are setting the gender to female for the record with ID is equal to 1. So if you look at the record here ID is equal to 1 is John's record and he is male at the moment. But then when I update this you know we basically changing John's gender from male to female. So when you update the CT look at this we are not directly updating the table TBL employee we are updating this CTE. So when you update the CTE does it actually update the TBL employee table? Yes it does. So when you actually execute this update statement along with the CTE it actually changes John's gender from male to female and this is from TBL employees table. This is the base table. Alright so if a CTE is created on one base table, here this CTE is based on just TBL employee table, then it is possible to update the CTE, which in turn will actually update the underlying base table. In this case, we are updating employee name gender CTE, which is actually updating TBL employee table. Let's look at this in action. So we have this TBL employee and TBL departments tables but then we are going to create a CTE on TBL employee table. Now look at this. The select query returns ID name gender from TBL employee. Okay so for this temporary result set you're just giving a name called employee name gender. So obviously when you execute this since this CTE is returning ID name gender we get that. Now let's see how to update the CTE. So you have the same CTE but instead of saying select star from that employee names gender you're actually saying update employee names uh, employees name gender set gender is equal to female where ID is equal to 1. So currently John's gender is male we are basically changing that to female with this statement I mean with the CTE. So you are actually updating the CTE and this CTE should update the TBL employee table. Let's look at that one row affected. Now let's check the TBL employee table itself. You should see now John's gender is female. Alright, so if a CTE is based on one base table then it is possible to update the CTE which in turn will update the underlying base table. 
Now let's look at a scenario when a CTE is based on two base tables. Now I have two tables here, TBL employee and TBL department. And then I want to create a CTE which would return ID name gender from TBL employee table and department name from TBL department table. So obviously this CTE has to have two base tables. Okay, so we are creating employees by department CTE here as what you are selecting here, ID name, gender, department name, and this is a pretty simple joins query. You are joining TBL employee with TBL department on department ID column, which is common between these two tables. And we are basically selecting ID name, gender, and department name columns. Okay, so for this temporary result set, we are actually giving a name employees by department. So this CTA is based on two base tables now. Okay, but then if you look at the update statement, look at the update statement. So update employees by department, which is nothing but the CTA. So we are updating the CTA. Update the CTA set gender is equal to male. Though the CTA is based on two base tables, we are only updating gender, which is coming from TBL employee table. So you are only updating you know, this update statement affects only TBL employee table. You're actually changing the gender to male for record with ID is equal to one. So here, John gender is now female because we have changed that before. We are, ch we are trying to change it back to male using this CTE. So if a CTE is based on more than one table, that's what is the situation here. The CTE is based on two base tables. And if the update affects only one base table, then the update is allowed. Okay, let's look at that in action. So we have the CTE, the same query that we saw on the slide. We are selecting ID name gender from employee department by joining them on the department ID column. So that's the CTE, which should give us the output that we have actually seen on the slide. So now let's try to change John's gender from female to male. So instead of saying select star from that CTE, you know, the CTE is exactly same from here to here. Instead of select, we are updating that CTE. So update employees by department set gender is equal to male, where ID is equal to one. In this case, ID is equal to one is John's record. So let's update this. One row affected. Now let's check the employees table if it is, has actually changed John's gender from male, female to male. So you should see that John's gender now changed from female to male. So if a CTE is based on two tables and if the update statement affects only one base table, then the update is allowed. All right, let's look at another scenario. So the CTE here is based on two tables, just like before. Okay, it's the same CTE. But then if you look at the update statement, it's updating the gender, it's ch changing the gender to female, and it's also changing the department name column. So if you look at this, in this CTE, it has got two columns, name and gender. Uh, I mean, gender and department name. Okay, so gender and department name. We know that this gender is coming from TBL employee table. Department name is coming from TBL department table. So obviously when you execute this update statement on this CTE, this update will actually affect TBL employee and TBL department, okay, both the tables. So if a CTE is based on multiple tables and if the update statement affects more than one base table, then the update statement is not allowed. Let's try to do this and see what actually happens. So here we have a CTE that's based on two tables, the same CTE that we have been working with, TBL employee and TBL department, which returns ID name, gender, and department name columns. But then if you look at the update statement, we are changing the gender and the department name. So obviously, this update statement affects TBL employee and TBL department. So when we try to execute this, let's see what's going to happen. We get an error. So view a function employees by department is not updatable because the modification affects multiple base tables. So basically, if a CTE is based on multiple statements, 
uh, multiple tables and if the update statement affects more than one base table then the update is not allowed there is one more scenario before we conclude okay so if a CTE is again based on two tables two or more tables actually and then if the update affects only one base table let's understand the scenario it's the same CTE that we have been working with okay so I rename gender from TBL department table and department name from TBL department table so obviously this CTE is based on more than one base table now if you look at this update statement so update employees by department set department name is equal to IT so basically what you are saying you know when you're saying update this employees by department this is the CTE and you're basically saying department name is equal to IT set department name is equal to IT where ID is equal to 1 so you're basically telling okay change John's department name from HR to IT you're basically telling that but then before we execute this update query let's look at Ben's department as well Ben is also in the HR department so Ben and John are in the HR department before we update uh, before we executed this update query now as soon as I have updated this now we know that if a CTE is based on more than one based on you know multiple base tables and if the update statement affects only one base table then the update is allowed okay so obviously this update will succeed but then after you execute this it changes John's department name to IT which is good but then look at what happened to Ben's department name it is also changed to IT before this update statement Ben's department was HR and I told to change here only John's department to IT because I specified ID is equal to 1, ID is equal to 1 is John but why did Ben's department name change as soon as I have executed this update statement that is because you know here you are asking this update statement to actually change the department name to IT where ID is equal to 1 so John you know department name is currently HR so what's gonna happen is when this update statement is executed it actually changes you know look at this department number three is HR okay which means John is currently has got department ID 3 which means HR but when this statement is completed when when you execute this what is happening is it is actually changing you know this label from HR to IT so it, it will be like this the TBL department table will be like this so number three IT department ID 3 is now changed from HR to IT so obviously anybody who has got three as the department ID all of them will be shown as if they belong to you know IT department that's the reason why Ben is also shown as if he belongs to you know IT department here okay so if a CT is based on more than one pay base table and if the update affects only one base one base table then update succeeds but not as expected always you know it may work correctly in some cases but in in this case the update is not working as we expect it to work our intention is to basically change you know when you are saying change the city such that you know the department name of John is changed from HR to IT when you say that behind the scenes it should actually update you know John's department ID from 3 to 1 because 1 is IT 3 is HR but instead what it did it actually changed the label name in TBL department table from HR to IT because of which any employee who has got a department ID of 3 will now be shown as if they belong to the IT department which is incorrect we didn't expect it to do that so obviously when you update a CTE there are several scenarios so if a CTE is based on a single base table then the update succeeds and works as expected always but if a CTE is based on more than one base table and if the update affects multiple base tables the update is not allowed and the statement terminates with an error if a CTE is based on more than one base table and if the update affects only one base table the update succeeds you know but not as expected always 
On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. If you want to receive email alerts when I upload new videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.